Okay. Lynn Tanner, um, born and raised right here in Charleston. For me, I had an older cousin about the time I got to junior high school, and he started surfing. And he was my ticket, you know, he was about three years older, so when he started surfing and he could drive, right. then I started tagging along with him. I was probably about 13, and that's when I really started in earnest, was about 68. But in my high school days, it was me and Rick Anson, and then, you know, we had Greg from James Island, you know, we'd pick him up on the way to the beach. My good buddy Al Logan, you know, all the guys that went to St. Andrews back then, that was our surfing crew. I don't know, I just always loved surfing. I mean, from the yeah. very start, I just was, lived it, you know, I just loved it. I mean, never got tired of it to this day. surfed either Pier or 12th Street. That was the two main breaks as I remember it. And then somewhere in the 70s we started, we couldn't legally surf down at the washout. We called it Stumps back then or 21st Street. Houses were all numbered different. So we started sneaking down there and we surf. And was it, was it better? Like, it was better. It was, was it? a lot like it is today. It was just a little bit bigger, more hollow, and uh, it was a better place to surf, but you couldn't surf there legally. So. Before Hugo, that whole stretch was a lot of houses, and there was like one block there was kind of empty with some an old seawall and stuff, and, and that sort of became the main break for a while. And uh, then after Hugo and all that stuff just got taken out completely, and the whole stretch just got knocked down, and they rebuilt it back with the rocks and put the little parking strip. That's sort of how it became the washout. Sort of, you know, when you first start, it's all about just catching a wave and riding it and the joy of being in the ocean and just maybe catching it on an offshore day when the wind's rushing up the face and that kind of thing. And then, you know, as you get more into it and, you know, like with me, I got into competition and did real well. I mean, I enjoyed all of that. But as you get older and you become a lifetime surfer, it kind of goes back full circle. I mean, I can feel as I, you know, age a little bit, and you know, you come to terms with your skills not being what they used to. It really almost comes back to just the joy of riding a wave again, you know, and being out there in the ocean. And that, I think, is the greatest accomplishment, is just having that passion in life to just be out there, you know, and it just keeps me going.